hair Oh yes, yes, yes And that's why I'm singing That's why I'm 
Greetings, greetings, greetings in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. The windows of heaven is open. Greetings to all of you. Praise the Lord. I pray and trust that wherever you are, praise God, that you're giving God thanks. Praise the Lord. You know, once you've got the Lord on your side, you have everything. I pray and trust that you can begin to worship him and praise him. Despite all that's going on around us, we still have to stay focused and we still have to remember who God is. Praise the Lord. Can somebody praise him? Come on, somebody. I was living my lifetime in vain. Yes, I was. I had nothing but doubt. And confusion But now I have Everything Oh yes I do Yes yes I have Everything Oh that I need To make me happy Yes I do I have Jesus, and He'll show me the way. Yes, He has saved me, and He gave me life eternal. Yes, He did. Praise the Lord. You know, sometimes, praise God, you know, we murmur and we complain about all we don't have. But you know, if we would just take time out to just count our many blessings, if we would just take time out to give God thanks, you know, thank Him for life, thank Him for breath. Uh, I believe I want to take, I believe I want to just take this one back from the top for somebody. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask you to just take a moment and share with a few of your friends and get them on. I believe that this is a now hour. I believe that God is here. I believe that he's here to bless someone. I believe he's here to uplift someone. I believe, praise God, that he's about to do something for somebody. Praise the Lord. Count your many blessings. Thanks for sharing, guys. Thanks for sharing. My lifetime in vain. Yes, I was. I had nothing but doubt, hope, and confusion. But now I have a Yes, I do. Yes, yes. I have everything. Oh, that I need to make me happy. Yes, I do. I have Jesus. And He'll show.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then one day, Hallelujah. you realize that yes, Lord, yes, Lord. you're living your life in vain. Oh, Jesus, help somebody, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But if you'll do as Lord. millions have done, Thank you, Jesus. Ask God to give you lives. Thank you, Lord. Living. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, you can have everything. Yes, you can. I have everything that I need to make me happy. Praise God. Yes, I do. Satan. And he gave Is there anybody that want to just what? give God thanks, thank Him for saving you? Is there anybody that feel like you want to just count your many blessings, contrary to how you feel? You can say, I have everything. You can say, Lord, I thank you. Is there anybody that just want to praise Him? Is there anybody that want to praise Him? Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. You know, so often we forget to praise God. We forget to give Him thanks. We forget to count our many, many blessings. And then the mere fact that we have Jesus to show us the way. Praise God. That's a blessing right there. I'll never get tired of saying it. He saved me. And He gave me life eternal. Jesus. Praise the Lord. That's right. Greetings, greetings to all of you out there. Praise yes. God. Hallelujah. I believe in my heart that a God has given me a word. Praise God. You don't want to go anywhere. Praise God. You want to praise God. Get your friends on. Share it in your groups. Praise God. YouTube. Praise God. Leave your comments on YouTube. Leave your comments. Praise God. On Facebook Live. Glory be to God. Um, praise God for those of you on the website. I want to say greetings, greetings to all of you. Praise the Lord. Just giving you some beautiful Very music. Sweet. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm just feeling so excited despite all that's happening around. I know that Jesus is coming back again, and I know that he's about to put in his appearance. Praise the Lord. It is look up time, no brothers and sisters. It is not a time, praise God, to lose you lose out and to lose your praise and to lose your joy and to lose, you know, your faith and your trust in Almighty God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm indicting a good matter. I'm indicting a great matter. Let me take this one from the top for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. There's a sweet, sweet spirit flowing in the atmosphere. Go ahead and embrace this spirit. Praise God, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know it's the spirit oh, of my Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, there Jesus. There are sweet, sweet, sweet expression. Hallelujah. On each face. Thank you, Jesus. And I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. It's the spirit. Oh, Hallelujah. Of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on and sing the song if you know it. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Stay. 
stay, stay right here with us. Filling us, filling us with your love. Praise the Lord. I don't know who it is. Praise the Lord. But there is someone, praise God, who is listening to me right now. Praise the Lord. You have been feeling down. You felt down in your spirit. You just felt so discouraged. You were, um, there's someone who is listening to me right now. The Holy Spirit has revealed to me, praise God, that you have been feeling so discouraged. You have been feeling so discouraged. Some of you have invested, you know, in some things and you, you're not seeing the fruit of your labor. You're not seeing, you know, what what it is that you have spent your hard-earned money on uh, but God has sent me to encourage you praise the Lord it is not over for you yet it is not over for you my friend praise the Lord glory be to God somebody need to start praising and praise God one of the things that the enemy is trying to do is to rob people of their praise rob people of their joy rob people of remembering the goodness of God to them praise God and if you you still have your praise why don't you go ahead and praise him I don't know about you but I still got my praise sweet Holy Spirit visit us Lord visit us Send a big shout out going out, praise God, to um, Pastor Janelle Alexander. God bless you. I want to send a big shout out to my brother, praise the Lord, talking about Brother Rodney Spencer and praise God, his beautiful family, Deidre, out there in London. I want to thank God for you, Mama Dustin, Lorna. God bless you, praise God. You said, Thank you, Jesus. Show me the way, Lord. I will walk with you, praise the Lord. Sister Edith Michael, we want to say God bless you. Sister Petal, one of our daughters down there in Clarendon, we are our churches. We want to say God bless you. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I pray and trust that you have taken time out to share. Praise the Lord. Just go ahead and share it. Praise God. You know, just share it with others. Share it with your pastor. Share it with some brothers and sisters. Glory be to God. God is speaking. Praise God. He's an on-time God. How many would agree with me? He's an on-time God. My heart. In praise. Without a doubt, we'll know that we have been revived. When we Yes, my friend, one of these days we're going to leave this place, one of these days soon and very soon we're going to leave this earth, the signs of the times, they're everywhere. Praise God. You know, as we look around, we can see that the Bible uh, is not, we can't even say fulfilling. The Bible has fulfilled upon us. Praise God. When we look around and see all the injustice, all of the wars and rumors of wars, all of the murders, all of the lawlessness, uh, you know, there's so much going on. But, you know, we have to give God thanks nevertheless until Jesus put in his appearance. I just came to praise the Lord. 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 
I just came to praise Him. I just came to praise Him. I just came to praise the Lord. to praise the Lord. I came to praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I came to praise the Lord. The enemy will try to steal your joy. The enemy will try to rob you of everything. The enemy will try to make you feel as if you're not good enough, but the devil is a liar. Yes, some of you through many danger, toils and snares, you've already come, but God has kept you. And because of that, you want to praise Him. Come on, somebody, I don't know about you. I've been through a lot myself, but I come to praise the Lord. I just came 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 to praise him, I just came to praise him, I just came to praise the Lord. anybody that want to praise the Lord? Is there anybody that want to say hallelujah? hallelujah? Is there anybody that know that hallelujah is the highest praise? Hallelujah. Oh my God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise God. Don't forget that where your treasures are, there your heart will be also. Matthew 6, 21. Praise God, you got to guard your heart. Praise God, whatever it is that is consuming your heart, your mind, your soul. Uh, yes, praise, uh, whatever it is consuming you, yes, that's where your heart is going to be rather. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I was standing by my It was a cold, cold and cloudy day When I saw that curse come rolling Far to carry my mother Be unbroken 
circle I just feel like I want to take that one back for someone you know there there's not one person I don't believe on this earth that can say that they've never lost a loved one you know a family member a good friend a co-worker you know a brother a sister in the Lord a pastor somebody a child you know, a niece, a nephew, cousin, brother, sister, yeah. Every one of us, we have lost someone. But you know the good news, the good thing is, is there are some of us who have lost some friends and family members. And we know that it's not over. But we know, praise God, that they're resting. They're waiting, praise God, until the trump of the, 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 the sound of the trump, yes. When that trumpet shall sound, when Jesus shall put in his appearance, praise God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those of us who are alive and remain alive, we're talking about spiritual life, praise God, we shall be caught up together with them. Praise God, those that have died in Christ to meet him in the air. And I'm, I believe in my heart and I'm so glad to know that that circle will never ever be broken again. Is there anybody that want to praise the Lord? That circle, oh glory to God, hallelujah, will never be broken again, praise God, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Somebody want to praise him, somebody want to praise him. Oh my God, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. In the sky, Lord, in the sky.
this song is bringing back such sweet memories to some of you in the morning. Maybe you can remember, praise God, someone who passed away and you know, has gone on. Maybe it's years, maybe it's months, maybe it's weeks, even days, hours. But I stop by to encourage you to let you know, praise God, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And you make sure that you fight and you, 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 you persevere to keep on the whole armor of God in these trying times. In these hours, in these days, praise God, hallelujah, hallelujah. I feel like somebody want to praise him. Praise the Lord. You know, the word of God lets us know in Matthew 5 and verses 6, praise God. It says, blessed, 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 happy, praise God, are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those who hunger and thirst for more of God. Those who hunger and thirst, praise God, to be in His presence. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I pray and trust that you're being wonderful and blessed. Glory be to God. For those of you out there, praise God, I want to thank God for all of you. Praise the Lord. Wherever you are, praise God. As I said earlier, with all of the this distractions, with all of the hurts and the pains and all of the tears and all of the, you know, disappointments and discouragements, there's just so much going on. But we got to we, we, we got we, we, we to hold on. We got to fight our way through. We got to fight the good fight of faith. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Giving you some beautiful music. Draw me near. Hear To the cross where thou hast died. of love that I cannot cannot know till I cross that narrow narrow sea there are heights of joy that I may not reach till I rest Yes, my friends, sometimes we just got to say, draw me nearer, almighty God. Just just draw me nearer. I, I need to get a little closer to you. I need to get closer. Praise God. Sometimes we want to understand everything. Sometimes we want to know it all. We want God to show us everything. 
But oh, what a good God he is. It's a good thing that he don't show us everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Praise God, Tammy. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you guys for all your shares on YouTube, WhatsApp, the website, Facebook Live. Praise the Lord. Colette Davidson, I want to say God bless you. Glory be to God. Uh, Elfrida Bryan, God bless you. Sister Angela, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When my life is through, then he'll call me. my home over on that golden golden shore I'll look back and review the path that lay before me then I know I won't care to understand oh, anymore. I don't need to understand. I just need to hold his hand. I don't need Praise God. You know, as I listen to this song, this is, um, these are some of the songs, um, you know, in our young days as Christians, me and Bishop Leroy, these are some of the songs, guys. And I'm coming with a word in a few, in a few minutes, and it's going to be just in line. Praise God. I, I, I know why the Holy Spirit would have me to feature um, evangelist pastor Jimmy Swaggart, um, you know, because the word that I'm coming with is just in line you know with 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 these songs and and you know praise god i'm telling you praise god the words of these songs the lyrics praise the lord i'm gonna take this one back from the top praise god because so many times we want to understand everything so many times we pray to god to show us everything you know we we, we, we want to deal with it ourselves and we want to fix things ourselves but you know there's times when god will just 
keep things from us. He will, you know, even sometimes in the prophetic ministry, sometimes as prophets or prophetesses, it's not everything that God reveal to his prophets all the time. Sometimes God will reveal it to other persons who, you know, that he wants to reveal it to. That does not make the man or the woman of God, the pastor, the apostle, or evangelist, teacher, brother, sister, any less. But sometimes God has a plan. God has a way of shielding us sometimes. Come on, somebody. God has a way of protecting us. So sometimes he will cause us not to understand some things, cause us not to see some things, cause us not to get the dream or the vision about some things because we may think that we understand, but there's a lot of things that if God had to let us see it, oh, we wouldn't be able to handle it. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't need to understand. Hallelujah. I just need I just need to hold his hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't ever need to ask the reasons why. My God, somebody want to praise him. Somebody want to praise him. Mm. For I know he'll make a way. Yes, Jesus. And through the day, and every day, day, I don't need to understand. Hallelujah. You know what the Holy Spirit just dropped in my spirit that I should say to somebody under the sound of my voice, stop trying to understand. Stop trying to fix it. Stop trying to deal with it. Stop trying to understand it. Just run with this word. Just say, I don't need to understand. Just say, God sees and he knows and he understands. Praise the Lord. Just, just come on. You need to say, I don't need to understand. Praise the Lord. When Praise the Lord. Is through, then he'll call me. To my home, over on that golden, golden shore. I'll look back and review the path that lay before me. Then I know I won't care to understand oh, anymore. I just need to hold his hand. I don't ever need to ask the reasons why. For I know he'll make a way. And every day I don't need to understand I just need to hold His hand Praise the Lord, praise the Lord I pray that you're having peace There's a settled peace within your heart now Praise God, praise the Lord Don't forget, don't be afraid my friend don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. All you got to do is have faith in God. God wouldn't bring you this far to leave you. I am telling you, God would not bring you this far to leave you. Stop worrying. Stop fretting. Stop losing sleep. Praise the Lord. Mark 5 and verses 36 exhorts us to not be afraid. But we must have faith. Faith in God, trust God.
take him at his word. Yes, my friend, praise God, hallelujah. I'm coming with a word right after this, and it's a Rima word. Praise God, it's a word for somebody. I just need to hold his hand. I don't need to understand. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise God, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. We're, I'm going to be going into a word, praise the Lord. And I believe in my heart that God has sent a word Praise God for somebody. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I don't know who it is. Praise God. But I believe in my heart that someone has been blessed. Praise God. Someone is being blessed right now. I believe in my heart that someone, praise God, is just giving God thanks. Someone is just praising God. Praise God. Someone is just saying, Lord, I thank you. I glorify your name, Lord. I magnify you. I don't know who it is, but I believe in my heart that somebody wants to praise him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to share a word with you before I come off of the air. Praise God. And if you're being wonderfully blessed, and I know that you are, praise God. And we want to thank God. Amen. Praise God. I want to share a word from Matthew 1 and verses 5 and 6. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Matthew chapter 1 verses 5 and 6 says, And Salmon, <laughs> and Salmon begot Boaz of, Boav, Boaz of Rahab, or by Rahab, and Boaz begot Obed by Ruth, and Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king, and David begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Uriah, and Solomon begot Rehoboam, and Rehoboam begot Abijah, and Abijah begot Asa. Praise God. And so I'm just going to be sharing a word with you because, you know, sometimes people look at persons and because they know their past, because they know you know, all that the person has gone through, the lifestyle or whatever. People tend to judge persons by their past, even after they have gotten saved. You still have some persons, even in the church, that would whisper and try to remember where a person is coming from or what they used to be. But, you know, we, we, we need to pass that because, you know, God sometimes can take some of the most messed up persons and, you know, really really clean them up and you know wash them and you know turn their life around and 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 turn their mess into beautiful messages you know i don't know about you because sometimes you know there are some persons who never been through anything and never you know did anything and they they, they believe that they, they 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 born you know without sin and all that kind of thing but i was a big mess you know i i don't know about you out there but i was a big mess trust me I was a big mess and God took my mess 
and you know he turned it into a beautiful message and that's why today I could be here uh, sharing the way that I share could be here you know impacting so many lives because I'm not afraid to tell people where I'm coming from you know we, we, you know after a while we get so hooked on you know sometimes on, 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 on titles and sometimes even on social media we put on all this facade and we, we, we you know we, we look all cute and we look all nice and we, we, we try to make persons feel as if that you know what they're going through or the life that they lived or all the things that they did you know that you know we never did that or we never been through all of that but um, I, I, I come to encourage somebody you know God always has a man or a woman to fill the gap can somebody say amen God always has a man or a woman to fill the gap praise God when there is a mess you know I had a reason for featuring um, evangelist pastor Jimmy Swaggart I really love the love his music um, you know no matter what um, as I said before it was those old those songs those type of singing and the words that really really helped me to be who I am today I'm not talking about him as an individual I'm talking about the anointing that is still on his life you know whether you want to accept it or not because sometimes we're so quick to point fingers and so quick to judge and you know if God had to really really lift the veil on some <laughs> on some folks then I wonder what would happen you understand but as I said I really love um, the music by evangelist or pastor uh, Jimmy Swaggart praise the Lord and as I said God always have a man or woman um, to stand in the gap to when there is a mess you know and I, I just read from you in Matthew 1 verses 5 uh, you know, really, uh, you know, verses five should have been from verses five to six, but I went on to verses eight, and um, it's it's just bringing it back of how God can use anybody to accomplish His will. And you know, I, I, maybe you're listening to me right now, and you're saying, "Woman of God, you're talking to me right now," because you know, there's still family members, there's still persons who look at me and say you know they want to remind me of where I'm coming from they want to remind me of what I did a couple of years ago a couple of months ago many many years ago for that matter but you know I, I, I come to ask the question um, you, you're probably saying you know I'm so I've made so much mess I'm, I'm so messed up even right now you're probably saying I'm so messed up that I don't think that God could make any use out of my life I, 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 I come to help you my brother I come to help you my sister I come to to encourage somebody like you I'm not here for the righteous I'm not here for those who got it all together I'm not here for those who who, who already um, know what it is to be washed in the blood of the lamb I'm not here for those who are well I'm here for the sick I'm here for those who need a savior I'm here for those who are feeling downtrodden those who feel like giving up you know those who feel like there is no hope you understand so you might say you know that I'm too messed up you know and you're feeling a little dis Discourage right now well God in all of his sovereignty he knows where you are he knows exactly where you are brothers and sisters come on somebody uh, praise God God say uh, to, 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 to tell you that I know where you are but I have not forgotten you I know your name I know your address I know all the things that they're talking about you I know all the things that they're planning and plotting against you I know all the things that they have did to you but you know I, I, I have a woman I have a man I have I have a servant I have someone I have a mouthpiece who who will come and bring you the word that I have sent for you at this hour praise the Lord you see you might not be sure if God even knows that you're still alive you know you so, could be so discouraged you know you might be saying God I don't even know if God knows exactly where I am much less you know if he could use me you understand but the devil is a liar the devil is a liar right now in the name of Jesus the devil is a liar God is an untimed God as I said before uh, I want to remind you of the, the scripture that I just read is taken from Matthew chapter 1 verses 5 to 6 and we're gonna we're gonna learn something here we're gonna learn something about the heart of God I didn't say the heart of man but the heart of God praise the Lord you see God looks beyond our faults 
and he sees all of our needs. How many want to praise him for that? I, I don't know about you. I don't know about you if you have forgotten to praise God. Hallelujah. But God looks beyond our faults. Thank God for who he is. I don't know about you, but I, that's why I can be preaching the way that I preach. That's why I can be bringing the word the way that I bring the word. You understand? Because I know that somebody needed to hear this word. You understand? I know what God is saying in this hour. Praise the Lord. And so praise God. I just want you to know that he looks beyond our faults and he sees our needs. Let me remind you again, as taken from Matthew 1, 5 and 6. Solomon was the father of Boaz. I want, to, I, want to, I want to take you now, for those of you that feel that you're too messed up, for those of you that feel that God can't use you now, I'm not encouraging you, especially those of you that are in the faith, because even sometimes, even Christians fall along the way. You know, it's so sad to see sometimes how some persons act as if that they got it all together and they never mess up and they never fall and they never did anything or thought in it or taught anything or said anything. It's a lie. You understand? It's a lie. Don't make nobody fool you. It's a lie. If it, anyhow that you are determined to make heaven your home, anyhow that you are determined to, 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 to get out of this world and not be left behind in the rapture, you're going to go through struggles. You're going to go through all kinds of struggles. You understand? You're going to go through temptations. You understand? But it's not to be tested. It's not to be tempted. It's to yield to the temptation. Jesus was tempted also. Jesus was tempted and he could have given up. But he did not yield to the temptation. But then there are persons who, you know, the enemy gets a, a we, would, we would, would say in Cayman, the enemy gets upper hand of. You understand? Because they yield to temptation. So I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, if you have fallen and you feel defeated, you know, don't beat up on yourself. What are you going to do about that situation? What are you going to do about it? It's one thing to fall down, but are you going to stay down? Come on, somebody. What are you going to do about it? What, 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 what are you going to do about it? This is, is not a good excuse to talk about. Well, you know, I, I made some mistakes and so it don't make no sense. I go back to church. No, no, no. You are the one that God has sent me to now. You are the one that I'm talking to. I'm not talking about all those holy rollers. I'm talking to you, my friend. Praise God. And I want to share with you about how God can take persons who have messed up, persons who are in big mess, and God can take them and clean them up and turn them around and use them mightily for his honor and for his glory. Praise the Lord. Solomon was the father of Boaz. Praise the Lord. Boaz. Guess what? Solomon was the father of Boaz. Guess who Boaz's mother was? Rahab. Yeah. Boaz's mother was Rahab. Boaz then became the father of, o of Obed. Yeah. Boaz then, Boaz was the father of Obed by Ruth. Ruth was the daughter-in-law of Naomi, right? And Naomi's sons had died. And, and you know the story, some of you, what happened. And you know they left the house of bread and went down to Egypt. And you, you, know, the whole, you know the whole story. But my focus now is Boaz and Rahab. Yeah? Salmon was the father of Boaz, you know, by Rahab. And Boaz was the father of Obed by Ruth. And Obed then became the father of Jesse. Jesse then became the father of David, who became the king. <laughs> you understand? But remember, it all started with Rahab. And I'm going to go down into Rahab in a few minutes. Yeah? Salmon, Salmon, you know, got Rahab pregnant. Mm? And then we know what happened. David then became the father of Solomon by Bathsheba. You talk about mess? Bathsheba was the wife of Uriah, who David, when he realized he was in trouble, when he realized he was in trouble, he, he made him put Uriah in the front of the battlefield so that they could kill him. And then so that David would try to cover up the pregnancy. David would try to cover up the pregnancy with, with Bathsheba. And so he wanted Uriah dead. And then he wanted now we made to look like, like she was pregnant for her husband. You talking about a mess? You talking about a mess? I just had to put that on so that you could think a bit. 
so that you could think a bit, you know, it's because there's a lot of you that probably thinking, you know, um, you know, that I'm in such a mess and I did so much that God could never use me and he could never clean me up. Look at that. Coming all the way down from Rahab, it all coming down from Rahab. You understand? And then when you check it out, Jesus is coming out, coming from out of the lineage of David. So Jesus is coming from also from the lineage of Rahab. You understand? A messed up woman. You know, you're talking about a mess. You're talking about dropouts. You're talking about some failures. Watch this now. Rahab. I know that some of you know, but there's some persons that don't know who Rahab was. Did you know that Rahab, I would say, she was one of the biggest prostitutes around. Oh my God. Could Jesus come from out of the lineage of a prostitute? Yes. <laughs> you understand me? Rahab was a prostitute. I don't know if she got pregnant during her prostitution or why. I don't know the story. The Bible never tell me how without that story go. And I ain't going to make up anything and try to tell lies. The Holy Spirit told me. I, I, I got to just leave it at that. Salmon got Rahab pregnant. That, that's what the Bible says. And I got to stick with that. Salmon got Rahab pregnant. And then she bore a son. And his name was Boaz. You understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then uh, coming down from Rahab, coming down out of Salmon and Rahab, and from Boaz came right down to, to, to David, and, 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 and out of David yeah, came the lineage of Jesus, you know. And what have you? Yes, my friend, praise God. So Rahab, you know her. She was the prostitute. She was the mother of a godly man of character named Boaz. Look at that. Look at what the Holy Spirit is doing. His mother was a prostitute, yes, but his mother also was one that 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 that, that when you know um, when they, they was there was a siege you know in um, Jericho, you know I'm I'm, I'm not going to go into that part or come back with that another time, but she was the one who let down the rope and 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 and, and made those guys come up and paraphrase and making it simple, make those guys came up and she hid them. She hid them. And when they came and searched her house, this was the prostitute. When they came and searched her house, you understand? She told them nobody was in there. She had them so tucked away in head. I don't know if she covered them up with clothes or whatever she did, but she had them hidden away. So to protect them because they had come to kill them. This same prostitute. How many of you know that God can use anybody? Come on, somebody. How many of you know that God can use anybody? Even you, my friend. How many of you know that God can use anybody? Yeah, it doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't. And, 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 and what I'm saying here now, it doesn't matter your background. Stop letting people put you down because of your background. Stop letting people put you down because of who your mother was or who your father was or where you were raised or where you were born. Come on, I'm giving you an example, a biblical example. Pros Rahab was a prostitute. And this man named Salmon got her pregnant and she bore a son named Boaz who became a godly man. He was a man of godly character. You understand? Boaz then married Ruth. And watch this now. Watch this now. You know, watch this now. Let me tell you something. This racism business, this, 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 this racism business that we see happening today, as I said in one of my last preaching there, down there in Clarendon at church. You know, this racism didn't start today. It didn't just start now. It, it started from in the Bible days because um, Boaz picked up and married Ruth. Ruth was, Ruth was a foreigner. Ruth, Ruth was an outsider. You understand? She was a non-Israelite. You know, hearing me, she was a non-Israelite. Boaz wasn't supposed to marry her. He was supposed to go and marry no non-Israelite. He was supposed to marry somebody from within their color and creed and beliefs and, and, and culture. That, that's who he was supposed to marry, but watch God. Watch God, Boaz, Boaz, sometimes I wonder if Boaz didn't have that kind of unconditional love in him, knowing that his mother was a prostitute, knowing that his mother was out there prostituting her life. You understand? Prostituting her life maybe to feed him too. You understand? So Boaz knew what it was to be, to see his mother, you know, experience racism, to see his mother put down, to see his mother pushed and hauled and cursed. You understand? And so Boaz must have made up his mind. You know what? I'm not going to be picking up none of these girls. I'm not going to be picking up none of them. I got to marry me an outsider. I got to marry me a foreigner. And so he married Ruth, a foreigner, not Israelite. You know, considered to be unclean. But then Boaz, remember, he said, that's the same way they used to treat my mother. 
They used to treat my mother as if she was a nobody. My mother was a prostitute. My mother Rahab was a prostitute, Boaz said. And, and I saw how they ill treat her as a child growing up. I saw how they did my mother. You understand? I saw how they looked down on her. I saw how they treated her as a dog. I saw, I saw, I, I, I saw them how they treated her as a, as, a, as a minority. And so Boaz must be said, you know, Boaz must be said, uh, that's all right. I saw how they did my mother. I, you should see me here in the studio. I saw how they did my mother. And I'm not going to be a part of it. Boaz must say, I'm not going to be a part of that. And so Boaz said, I know that they counted my mother as unclean. And I know that they counted count the non-Israelites as unclean. You understand? So I still say, Boaz probably learned that unconditional love from his mother. He probably saw his mother crying many times. He saw his mother put down many times. He saw his mother hurt many times. And I can just imagine as a child, Boaz probably said, Mama, one day, one day when I get up big, I got to make a change. One day when I get up big, I got I, 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 I to turn things around for you. You understand? I see how they're treating you now. You understand? And so, you know, he, he knew that his mother never never know what it was to be loved she was a prostitute she was unclean she was pushed she was scorned she was rejected and so you know it wasn't until she met the god of israel it wasn't until she got saved it wasn't until she accepted the god of israel as her personal lord and indwelling savior this goes to show me that it doesn't matter who you are you could be a murderer like like Saul was before he became Paul you could be a big crooked liar like how um like like, like how Jacob was before his name was became Israel you 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 could you 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 could be a prostitute you could be out there a thief a liar but God if if, if you, you know if God has a plan for your life no matter what cannot stop what God has destined for you oh glory to God hallelujah praise the Lord glory be to God Ruth was the grandmother of King David. Can you imagine? You, you, you see the lineage? Can you imagine? It all began with a man named Salmon who picked up a prostitute and, and, and she got pregnant for him that bore a son named Boaz and coming right down to King David. You understand? Then watch this now. Ruth, then Boaz married Ruth and Ruth became, the, Ruth then became Ruth then became um, the grandmother of King David, the greatest king of Israel, the greatest king that Israel ever knew. In spite of his flaws, in spite of his mistakes, in spite of his falling, I believe all of that also played a role in, God, a role in God's sovereignty. So sometime before we go and try to put down people and kill people, remember God could be allowing some things to happen for greater good. Come on somebody. God could be allowing some things to happen for greater good. Because look at that, although David messed up, and although, although Solomon, although, although David messed up with Bathsheba, then he got, he got, he got this, they got this son Solomon, and then Solomon became then the father of David. Watch God. Watch God, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he messed up. But then even God himself said that David was a man after his own heart. He was a man after his own heart. So even though he messed up, he repented of his sin. You know the problem that we have today? There's a lot of people still want to live in their sin. They still want to live that lifestyle and still want to say they're Christians. They still want to live any old life. They want to shack up. They want to commit adultery. They want to be fornicating like fowls. And they still want to say, I'm a Christian. But David repented. David repented, David wept before God. He stripped himself and he wept before God and he was sorrowful for what had happened. And God had mercy on him and forgave him. You understand? Bathsheba, you know, the other woman with whom David committed adultery with the wife of Uriah, one of David's mighty men, she was the mother then of Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived. What a mess. Cannot God take a mess and fix it up and clean it up and use and make something good out of it? Cannot he say who is the potter? Can he not take, praise God, that clay, praise God, and, 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 and just mold it into what he wants to mold it in? Glory be to God. Yes, my friend, if you continue and you read on and you read on, you will find out, praise God, the genealogy. You will find out the genealogy and the names of Jesus. And three women who seem like the most unlikely candidates to be used by Almighty God. Three women who were the great, who were the great, great, greats of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ were all messed up. 
<laughs> didn't deserve to be a part of the genealogy of Jesus Christ. You think that you have made a mess. You think that you have messed up so bad that God can't use you. I stop by to let you know that this word is coming to you, my friend. Rahab, Ruth, and Bathsheba would argue that you are exactly where God wants you to be. You are exactly where God wants you to be. This word is an on-time word. This word is a now word. This word is for you. Yes, you, my friend. Right there listening to me. Right there that is just so, just so glued to your telephone, your tablet, or your computer. This word is for you. They are proof that God forgives, God redeems, and God restores. All you have to do is turn to Him. Praise God. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I believe in my heart that God is saying, Come to me. Come let us reason. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. I love you. I love you with an everlasting love. Praise the Lord. I want to forgive you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is anything important? Too impossible for God to do is there anything too impossible for God to do I want you to know in Mark 9 23 it says anything is possible if you can just believe anything is possible praise the Lord I pray and trust that you have been wonderfully blessed. I'm going to be leaving you. Praise God. If you have been blessed, uh, go ahead and leave your prayer requests. Go ahead and leave your testimonies. If this word, praise God, has come alive to you, praise God, and you feel like, you know, you're far from God, and, you know, you feel like you're in that position where you need to draw closer to God. Remember Matthew 5, 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness blessed are those who who see their need for more of god blessed are those praise god who can bow down and say god you know i need you i need more of you i i know that you're using me lord i know that you're working through me lord but i need you i need more of you almighty god touch me afresh lord is there anybody that just want to cry out and say touch me afresh lord i need you you use rahab you use ruth you use Bathsheba. You use all of them to bring about the genealogy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, I need you. I need you, Almighty God. Is there anybody, you know, we, this is not the time for us to point our fingers. This is the time for us to search ourselves. You understand? And if this word has been a blessing to you, go ahead and let me know. Praise the Lord. Just go ahead and let me know if it's been a blessing to you. Praise God. I'm going to send you up with a beautiful song. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a city So much life Where there cometh home Come never a night For that sun Never sets in that sky Praise God In the Bible we're told That those streets of Pierce gold And that cool Gentle river runs by Oh yes it does I'm bound for that city God's holy white city Oh yes I I'll never turn back To this world
will forever play And our hearts will be light, light and gay As we stroll hand in hand with Jesus Yes, we will Through that city of gold There'll be no more dying there Oh, praise God No more sorrow To bear And nobody Will ever be feeble I'm bound for that city, God's holy white city. Oh yes, I, I'll never turn back to this world. I'm bound for that city on that evergreen shore. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to say God bless each and every one of you. Praise God. I'm bound for that city. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. That city that is not built by human hands. Praise God. That city. Praise God that is built by God himself. I pray and trust that you have been revived in your spirits. I pray and trust, praise God, that you're praying and you're praising and you're giving God thanks. Remember, everyone is a sinner and is separated from God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Today is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. He's knocking on the door of your heart. Open up. He wants to come in and sup with you. God bless. Until next time, turn on your notifications and never miss a broadcast. Shalom. I'm bound for that city on that evergreen shore.